What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, I'm gonna be talking about the differences between ng container, ng templates, and ng content. And all of these are really just ways to group your elements within Angular. There are subtle differences, but really at the end of the day, that's kind of what they are used for. And the, diff the subtle differences between them are going to come in the scenarios and the use cases in which you would use them. So what is a scenario and what is a use case when you would use ng-container? You would use ng-container when you don't want to use a div. If you've ever coded React, you've probably heard of something called a fragment. And basically what a fragment is, is it's almost like an invisible div. It's like a div, but a div, there is actually something there when the HTML loads. Like if you load a div and you try to just put an empty um, object, or you, not an object, but you try to put an empty element in there, or you try to put an element in there, there is going to be like a little piece of white space and a lot of times you don't want that so you use ng container um, another reason that we use ng container just besides the you know it just being an empty placeholder for our elements is that you can place directives on it right here and you can do advanced stuff as well too with an ng container you can use um a, not router outlet but you can use a directive outlet and you can do all of the fancy directives that you can do with any other Angular, um, any other Angular directive, but you can do it within um, the ng container. You can't really do that within a div. And if you can, I don't, I don't know how to do it. So maybe you could tell me how to do it. If, if you know how to do it, just leave a comment down below. So let's talk about template. And the easiest way to remember template is that template is a derivative of just regular html templates like if you've ever seen an a regular inch this doesn't have anything to do with angular either by the way so if you know um, just anything about regular html templates you know that they are there to almost be toggled um, if you put something in regular html inside of a template like if i and actually I, what did I, I accidentally didn't even realize I had one over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one. So if you had something within your actual template right here, like if I just said, hello, goodbye, good Beatles song, by the way, it, basically what's going to happen is it's going to go onto the HTML, but it's not going to show because it's a template and you need to actually toggle or activate this template. So once again, if you put a template in regular HTML, not an Angular ng template, but just a regular template, it's not going to show until you have some type of JavaScript to make it actually show on the web page. And that's essentially what an ng template is, but you get all of the functionality with Angular as well, too. And I I was not a, an Angular programmer when this actually occurred, but I was looking at older Angular, and a lot of times you will see ng template being used to uh, use like an ng if directive. And I don't know whether this is true or not, but supposedly back in the day, ng template was how you had to do like all of the directives in everything. Like I said, was not an Angular programmer during that time. It's just kind of like what I read, but it's kind of the, you know, helps the understanding. The ng template is there because you can do, um, it sort of works like an ng container, but it has this template, this HTML template aspect, and it has all of the directives and it has all of the power, like a, the directive outlet that you can also put in um, up here as well too. And you can do for loops, but the bad thing about this is that you don't get the syntactic sugar. And the reason like why most people don't use ng template anymore is because you have to do these really long verbose directives as opposed to just, you know, typing ng if, you know, true like this with uh, regular with regular directives that you put on your components you can just put the star ng if as opposed to like having to go all out like you do here. 
Okay, so let's talk about ng content. And ng content really, uh, ng template and ng container are somewhat related, but ng template or ng content is a lot different. And ng content is uh, there for content, what's called content projection. And I actually have a whole entire video on ng content if you want to see how ng content works in a little bit more depth. But essentially what's happening here is that you have a component and within this component as a child element of this component that you have, if you look here, if you uh, kind of pay attention to this, this is, an, this is an actual component. So just keynote. NG content does not work in any other way but the way that I'm about to show you. So basically, whenever you have a child element, it's going to input this child element over into the actual HTML for this app detail. So let's just say we make a ng con we make an ng content over here. What's going to happen is that this ht this h1 is going to go over here into this ng content and it's going to erase, the, not erase this, but it's going to render this H1 with hello goodbye inside of it. So if I go over here, when we actually press ng serve and we actually serve up our app, what's going to be there instead of, and I actually, I'm supposed to have, actually just don't uh, mind this up here. What's going to happen is that this H this H1 is going to come over here into our HTML and it's going to input it over here into the actual HTML. And that's essentially what content projection is or ng content is there for uh, content projection. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If it was informative and you learned a lot, make sure to check out some of my other content. Hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.